everybody, Regis Philman here, and now it's time to play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Hey everybody, welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'm your host, Regis Philman, and tonight we have special players. We have former presidents, up first is current president of the United States of America, um, <clears throat> Joe Biden. Joe Biden, come on up. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Mr. Biden? It's uh, a real pleasure being on the show, Pat. Um, uh, I got to tell you, I don't know how many times me and Jill would sit at home and pray to God that we <laughs> pray to God that we get on Will of Fortune. We watch Will of Fortune every night. We sure do. Oh my God, what the heck is that over there? Well, I don't know. Fellas, I'm getting kind of scared here. I think the blanket monster is going to get me. Oh my God. Okay, anyway, uh, that should answer all your questions, Regis. I'll see you later. Uh, well, I tell you, pal, it's real good to have you on. Uh, but just a few things to correct you. I don't think... Wait. What did you say anyway? Damn it, I forgot. Oh, wait, no. What I'm saying, you're, you're starting to walk away. That's what it is. Yeah, don't don't walk away, Joe. Come back here. Come on, get over here. You you're you're playing, Joe. You're playing. You're playing. Who wants to be a millionaire? Now, isn't that something? I'm sorry about that, Regis. It's just I have so much gas, and uh, you know sometimes I explode like that. <laughs> uh, so. No, I'm Will Fortune. Um, okay. Then, are we on Jeopardy? Do I have to answer my questions in the form of questions? In the form of a question? Wow, look at that tree, man. He's got bulgy eyes and a nose, actually. This box art is just stupid. Oh. What was the question, Regis? Uh, the audience said nobody understood a word of what you just said. Are you nervous? You know, I mean, everybody's a little nervous. Heck, even I get nervous from time to time. But, uh, you ready to play? I mean, of course I'm nervous. I mean, who wouldn't be? Uh, is that one of the questions? Is it A, B, or C? I don't know. Is that is that one of the questions? Oh, do you, do you, do you want to get started in something? Is that what you're saying? No, Joe. We haven't asked the question yet. But we, we are. We are. We're going to ask it right now. Okay. Here we go. In 2005, what famous movie came out and reinvented everything that we know about Batman. Is it A? Uh, we got that upside down. The computer's doing something weird. I don't know. Uh, there it is. A, Fargo. B, Cinderella. C, Superman or D Batman Begins now remember Joe you have your um, three outs up there you got a phone a friend poll the audience and um, wait phone a friend poll the audience and change the answer I mean, change the question. You can do that now, apparently. So, yeah, that's your lifelines. Just think this through. 
And what's your answer? <laughs> what's your answer, dude? Cool boy, holy moly. It's a lot of pressure. Um, we'll see. I don't think it's A or B. I'm torn between C and D. <laughs> Superman sounds about right. Hmm. Let's see here. I gotta say, G. No, wait. Now, how do I say C? Um, Alex, can I use the lifeline, please? All right. Which lifeline would you like to use? You got three. You could phone a friend, pull the audience, or flip the question. Which one's it going to be, Joe? I think I'm going to phone a friend. Uh, let's see here. Uh, can, can we call Donald? Donald might know the answer to this one. He might now. Can, can we do that? I got something to tell you right now, pal. First of all, Donald is not your phone to friend. Is Brad Pitt. And second of all, um, oh wait, no, that, that that's all I had to tell you. That's all I had to tell you. So you you want to call? Brad Pitt. So here we go. We call Brad Pitt. We get an old Braddy, Brad boy, Brad on the phone, and you can talk to him right about now. Guys, ugh, what's going on, man? And she do well. Yeah, I pulled one of my sausages out of my drawer, right? And here we go. All right, so you got me on your phone and friend list. What? Uh, <clears throat> well, it seems to be in question. Blaine Club. I finally got it open. It's not bad. Fine, it's smoked and flavored. It's good. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. What? What? What's the question? Hey, Brad. Okay. Here in 2005, what was. The number one winning movie at the box office was it A? Um, one of those words up there again, I can't read that one, or was it B? Um, what was it? I can't, I can't read this. Or Superman, which is C. Or Batman Begins, 2005. I can't give them those other answers because I don't know what those words are. I, I Guys, guys. Oh my God, guys, I'm sorry. Keep it gangsta, dog. Keep it gangsta. Um, I happen to know this for a fact. You don't even have to worry about it. We got this, bro. You know what it is? Mm. I'll tell you right now. Superman 100%. Final answer. You know, don't use any more of your things. You did this, you me, buddy. We'll go on to be a billionaire. What do you say? Yeah, Brad would never steer me wrong, so I'm also going to say C, final answer, not going to use the rest of my lifelines, nothing. You're going with C is your final answer. Well, okay. Uh, show me Superman. 
Oh, no, no, Joe, 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 Joe. You had two lifelines left. The next one you should have used was to poll the audience. So I'm so sorry, but uh, looks like you're off the show. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to a few commercial breaks. And when we come back, our next contestant will be none other than that of Mr. Barack Obama. When we come back to who wants to be a millionaire? Woo! Ah, oh, fiddlesticks. Brad, you idiot. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to make sure Hollywood black boys you. That's what I'm going to do. Fuck you, dude. You claim to be my homie? Fuck you. Oh, yeah. Fuck me. Fuck me. You're such a funny little man, you know that? I just did all that just to fuck with you. I knew it was Batman Begins the whole time. Superman. Superman came out in the 70s, you fool. God, can't believe you fell for that shit. Oh, mm, mm, oh that's mm, delicious. What is it, bacon? Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna tell Kevin I just I love his brown sugar bacon. Mmm, sugar. What? What's that? I mean, this was it actually made by Kevin Bacon? Well, still. Mmm. Frank Dave's good. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that was a short commercial. We didn't even go to any. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen. My next contestant on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire is none other than Donald J. Trump. Donald, welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Are you ready for your first question? Or do you have a question for me in the audience? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I'm Regis Philman. I've been dead for years. <laughs> what is this? Well, Regis, it's good to be on here. Let me just say that if I was a pludge pig, I'd be happy as a pludge pig. What is a pludge pig? I don't know. But if the question was, what is a pludge pig? I could probably tell you. I could probably tell you. So, uh, we're going to start the show or what? Oh my God, Donald, you crack me up from here to high hernia. But I can remember back in the day, Donald, when you and Vince McMahon and me would all go out on a Saturday night and we would watch. What was it we would watch? Oh yeah, Saturday night's main event, baby. <laughs> Do you remember that one? Anyway, uh, hold on. I got diabetes and I have to eat every 27 seconds to keep my diabetes from killing me. All right. But before we do that, Donald, could you please tell us what, you're, uh, what charity you're playing for? Yeah, I remember the good old days, baby. I remember them like they were yesterday. Good old Saturday night's main event. Good old WrestleMania. You know, I sponsored two of the uh, 30, what is it, 30 WrestleMania years now? Hell, I can't keep up. But anyway, I don't associate with Vince McMahon anymore. He's become a dirtbag. So, as far as I'm concerned, Fuck him. Whoa, Donald. <laughs> Hold on there now. You can't say the word fuck. On the, oh, fuck. I said the word fuck. <sighs> See what you got me doing, Donald? You fucking made me fucking say the word fuck. Don't do this. This is national TV. You can't do that. Anyway, Donald. I hope you guys bleep that out uh, later on. But anyway, are you ready to play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Yeah, Regis, you know what? The thing about the word fuck is when you say the word fuck on fucking national television, then guess what? You are fucked. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm ready to play. Let's play, man. Tomorrow, 
Let's do this. What the fuck? Oh, fuck, Donald. I really wish you'd quit saying the word fuck. Anyway. Okay. Here goes. Sorry, folks. I'm eating something because I'm a diabetic. And if I don't have food every 30 seconds, I'll die. Remember I said that, and then don't let me say it again. Anyway. Ha! Donald. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Ha! Anyway. Your first question is, in 1977, what famous celebrity was born? Wait, did I say 77? I meant to say, um, oh, fuck. I fucked up. Hold on. What I meant to say was, hold on, no, I'll think of it here in a second. Oh, my God. To say was, what famous actor was born in 1963? Was it A, Gary Busey, B, Joan Crawford, C, Donald Pleasance, or D, Brad Pitt? Take your time. Come up with the answer. Remember, you have three lifelines. You can call a friend. You can eliminate one of the answers. I mean, wait, no. That's 50-50. Yeah. See, I'm totally fucked up. Anyway. <laughs> Boy, by the time this is over, I'll not only not even be the host of Millionaire anymore, but I'll be friggin' dead. <laughs> anyway. Wait, no, I think I am those things. Anyway, so, is this why Meredith Baxter took over the show, you think so? Sheesh. Anyway, so you have three lifelines. Uh, you can phone a friend. You can choose 50-50. Or you can... Uh, Poll the audience. So, just like I said, take your time, and I'll be over here eating a snack. Well, I don't think it was Donald Pleasance because he was a very old man already in 1977. Um, I don't think it was uh, the other guy that you said. You know what? I forget all the other guys. I forget all the names. I do remember D, Brad Pitt. Well, I wonder if that's a clue. Whoa! Are you saying that you think it's D, Brad Pitt? Is that your final answer? Or do you need to take a lifeline? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take that plunge and say, D, Brad Pitt, final answer. I'm sure I'm right. I'm sure I'm right. Uh, was anyone Tom Selleck? No, no, it's Brad Pitt. It's definitely Brad Pitt. Final answer. Duh. You're goddamn right, it's me, boys. It's me, it's me. It's Ernest T, motherfucker. Yeah. That's right. D, Brad Pitt. That's who I am. I was born in 1963. And I was also born to be wild, baby. Woo! <laughs> you like that one? I learned that from Ric Flair. Well, you were right. It's D, Brad Pitt. That's for $200. All right, you ready for your next question? You ready? You ready, Mr. President Trump? Huh? <laughs> ready? I thought we were going to go to commercial break. It's been five minutes since I had a double cheeseburger from McDonald's. I need one right now, damn it. Well, there's a stat. I need burger in my body. Stat. Anyways, yeah, I'm ready for the next question. Well, let's go. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? 
Okay, your next question. What is the name of the show in which the dad screams and yells at everybody? Is it A, Sanford and Son, B, Growing Pains, C, wait, I can't, I can't read this. Producer, damn it, I'm 86 years old. I can't read this. The hell is this saying? Oh, the Brady Bunch. Or is it D, Family Guy? Would you like to hear those options again? Or are you ready to take a guess? Oh, the dad does yell and scream on growing pains. Bang. Oops, I dropped a peanut. And they is going to be in the bed later. Dad, I can't say. Those other ones don't sound right either. We can't think of the names of them, but these didn't sound right. You know what? I'm going to say D, Family Guy. I'm going to say D, Family Guy, final answer. And also, as a little tidbit, did you guys know that Herbert the Pervert was based off of Joe Biden? Yes, it's true. You know, a pervert old man with family guy? That is your vibe. True story. Yeah, you don't believe me? Seth MacFarlane's had me on the show before, more than once, as a matter of fact. If you said family guy, then you are correct. How did you know so much? Oh, yeah, you said that you yourself was on Family Guy. Well, Mr. Trump, it sure has been a pleasure having you on. Tell me something personal about yourself. Um, let's see. What kind of question can I ask you here? Do you like Boston cream pies? Because I got to tell you, I love Boston cream pies, buddy boy. Well, I have some kids. Most of them are low IQ individuals. But I'd like to say hi to Eric and, uh, what was the other one, Trump Jr.? Hi, oh, yeah, I want to say hello to Trump Jr. too. And what's that little skinny kid's name? The great big tall handsome one looks like me almost, but he's taller. Oh yeah, Baron. Baron. Uh, Baron. So those are all my three kids. Now my three sons, my three sons, they're lots of fun. They eat their hot dogs, they're on a bun. Uh, my three sons, they like to run. They'll run circles around you. They have lots of fun, my three sons. Oh, so anyway, yeah, bring it on, Regis. I want to hear the next question, please. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, why, why did I live? You know what? You're so funny. I'm just going to go ahead. You get this next question right, you win the million dollars. That's it. I mean, I just, I love you, man. You're so full of charm. <laughs> Remember that time you came on the show? Huh? Read just carefully. Plus, I'm dead. Who gives a shit? Like, what do I got to lose? They're going to fire me? I'm freaking dead. Anyway, here's the next question. Who's this girl with the boobs in the picture? Who's this girl with the boobs in the picture? You have three seconds. I'm just kidding. You have ten seconds, though. Oh, that's easy. That's Rosie O'Donnell's. Hey. Cousin Stephanie O'Donnell. As you can see here, the picture of Stephanie is way hot, way hot. And uh, Rosie O'Donnell is a fat pig. Remember when I said that? <laughs> I'm so funny. Anyway, yep, that's my final answer. It's Nancy O'Donnell. Oh, wait. That's not what I said before, is it? 
damn it. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. No, I'm just kidding. You're wrong. Number one. And number two, I just got told by my producer, I'm not allowed to do what I just did. So, anyway, you're wrong. But you would uh, you would have had to play the whole game anyway. Um, that wasn't an official question, so it doesn't go against you. Of course, so you get get to continue to play. All right. So let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Here's your next official question. In the movie Jaws, the first one, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what these things even are. In the movie Jaws, what was the famous line? Was it A, we're going to need a bigger boat? B, you're going to need a bigger fishing line? C, you're going to need bigger clown shoes? Uh, D, you're going to need a bigger boat? Just take your time now. Think of your answer. And we'll get back to the answer when we come back with more who wants to be a millionaire? We'll be right back. Okay, one more time. This is your kitchen. This is your kitchen on drugs. Any questions? Are you getting tired of playing real pool? Well, then don't waste your time playing real pool anymore. Play it on a video game. Pool Hall Pro for the Wii. Thank you. Okay, let's go over there one more time. This is your closet. This is your closet on drugs. Any, <laughs> any questions? Uh, I mean, let's try that again. Any questions? Ugh. Dang, it. Dang it, get in there, you bozo. Any questions? Okay, for the last, last time, this one's for real. This is your Moss Man. This is your Moss Man on drugs. Any questions? And we're back to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And, of course, we have with us Donald Trump, who is uh, playing for, I believe we're at $5,000 right now. We'll look on the board, and yes, there it is. So. Oh, hey, it's your girlfriend, Heather. You bet. So, Donald, I hear you like to play golf. Uh, are you a very good golf player? Yes, uh, actually, I'm very good at golf. Very good. Um, I mean, I wouldn't put myself at Tiger Woods level just yet. But, you know, maybe um, Jack Nicholson level, and I ain't talking about the golfer. Talking about the celebrity, Jack Nicholson. Anyway, I am ready to play, and uh, let's get it on, boy. Yeah. Well, I gotta say, Donald, you're very smart. You seem like an intelligent guy, and I like the way you talk. So let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Oh, man, I still got it. Anyway, you're at the $5,000 question. And um, you haven't used any of your lifelines, so you're good there. Let's go ahead and play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Here's the question. Diet Coke's slogan in the 80s, was it A, I'm a Diet Coke too? Was it B, just for the heck of it, Diet Coke? Was it C, Diet Coke, it's refreshing. 
or D, just for the taste of it, Diet Coke. Oh, I think I might have given away the answer. I don't know. What's that? My producer's saying, yeah, I should probably not have sang the jingle. But anyway, which one is it, Donald? A, B, or C, or D? Go ahead and take your time. You got all the time in the world. Well, not all the time in the world. Maybe just enough time to get the answer. Well, let's look at things logically here, Regis. Um, we got... I don't think it was Diet Coke. It's refreshing because that was the Coke, uh, the new Coke commercial, I do believe. Coke, it's refreshing. Everybody remembers that, right? But then got B. Um, I don't think it's B. C is uh, just for the heck of it. I don't think they would say that. And uh, I remember the slogan, just as you sang it. Just for the taste of it, Diet Coke. I also remember uh, when I first got Batman, the 89 Batman on VHS. There being a Diet Coke commercial for it with Alfred going, We seem to be down to our lost Diet Coke. And then Batman says, Well, go to the store and get some, Alfred. Haha! <laughs> I remember that commercial too. So you choose D. Is that your final answer? Yes, final answer is D. Just for the taste of it, Diet Coke. And why the heck is Alfred consulting Batman on running out of Diet Coke and not just go to the store and buy some? I would say he's a pretty incompetent butler in my opinion. If it were my butler, he'd be fired. But anyway, yeah, D, just for the taste of it, Diet Coke, final answer, Regis. And you, sir, are correct, correct, it is D. <laughs> just for the taste of it, Diet Coke. <laughs> yes, I remember that one as well. And now it appears as though you are up to the $10,000 question. And from here on out, the questions will get harder. Um, you prepared for this? You think you're ready? You ready to do some battle here? You ready to win that million dollars? Well, yeah, I'm ready, Regis. I was born ready. By the way, Diet Coke is disgusting. I drink Coke Zero. I drink Coke Zero. But anyway, yeah, as you can see, I haven't used any of my lifelines. So bring on the toughest of the tough, Regis. I am more than ready, more than ready to take it on. Go ahead. Get me for your best shot. <laughs> I dare you. Okay, well, here's the question. And what year did President Reagan famously say, Gorbachev, tear down this wall? Was it A, 1986? B, 1988, C, 1987, or D, 1988. Or did I already say 88? I meant 89. <laughs> Take your time now. You can figure this out. You still have all your lifelines. It's all cool. Well, let's see you now. I um, want to say 1987. I don't think Reagan was even president in 89. I think that's when George Bush Sr. took over. Uh, or maybe that was 88. So it could have been 88 or 89. You know what? This question is for $25,000. So I'm going to phone a friend. You want to phone a friend, huh? You sure you don't want any other lifelines, like uh, poll the audience or, uh, you know, anything like that? I don't want to poll the audience. Uh, I don't really trust audience that much. No offense. No offense. But I think I'm going to phone a friend. Um, yeah. I'm going to phone a friend. And, uh, 
Who would you like to phone? Who who are we calling here? Just who are we calling? Yeah, I think I'm gonna phone a friend. We just uh, see. You know what? Let's call Obama. I have the feeling Obama is gonna know the answer to this one. So I'm just gonna call him right up right now. And uh, here we go. Hello. Hello, who is this? Why don't you answer me, damn it? Hello? Listen, if you're a telemarketer, then I got a few words for you. Barack, it's me, Dennis. You've been waiting for this phone call. You should know who this is. Anyway, I'm sitting here with Regis, of course, and uh, I'm on the $25,000 question. So, Listen up. What year did Ronald Reagan say the famous lines, Gorbachev, tear down this wall? Was it A, A, 1985, B, 1987, C, 1988, R.D. 1986. What year did Ronald Reagan say the famous quote, Gorbachev, tear down this wall? Oh, that's a tough one. Let's see here. I'm going to say 87. Yeah, 87 seemed like about the year the Soviet Union fell. Um... I remember, I think, Rocky IV came out that year, and uh, everyone was like, what? And then Rambo III came out that year, and everyone was like, what? Why are they making the Russians the better guy? But um, actually, no, 87, Rocky IV gave that speech, I mean, probably at the time they were making the movie, you know, um, it, the, the Cold War was still going on to speak of. But yeah, 1987, Gorbachev, tear down that wall. Kind of enjoyed my impression. Got a bomb there. All you had to do was give the answer. But knowing you, you probably wanted the spotlight, wanted the spotlight. Sorry, you had to go to that whole spill. Anyway, I'm going to say 87 as well. And that's my final answer, Regis. Guarantee you I got 25 dows. It's up there. You watch. 1987 would be correct. Oh boy. I tell you, you're making me sweat. All right. The next question is for fifty thousand dollars and if you get this you cannot lose fifty thousand dollars in other words if you get it incorrect you still walk away with fifty thousand dollars no matter what so here's the question Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was 1987. You know, that uh, knucklehead Obama may have shit for brains, but boy, he sure knows his president's sayings. So, um, what we got going on next? Oh, yeah, you done told me I'm at the 50-yard line. I can't, uh, I can't lose $50,000 no matter what. I could fuck up as bad as I want. Oops, sorry. You know, gotta watch that language there, Mr. President. Anyway, here is the question. In what year did A&W get founded? In what year did A&W Root Beer get founded? Was it A, 1927, B, 2014 C 1967 or D 1919 
Now you got your question in front of you, Mr. President. Let's hear your answer. Please. Hello. Let's see here. I know it was a 2014, so we might as well just scratch that off the board. I'm thinking 1926 for some reason. But... Oh no, 1919 might be it. Seems like they had root beer back in the 1800s. Oh, let's see. You know, I would be a damn fool. Damn, 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 damn fool. If I didn't uh, use one of my lifelines right here, we're at the 50,000, guaranteed a 50,000 if I get the answer correct, so... Yeah, Regis, I think I'm gonna poll the audience. But let's poll the audience on this one. See, I'm thinking 1919. But that don't sound right. I don't know. Let's poll the audience. Come on, let's see what the audience has to say. Okay, audience, what will it be? A, B, C, or D, you decide. You have the finger in the button. So, uh, Donald, why I've got you here. I hear Nikki Haley's dropped out of the race. Very smart of her, I must say. Seems like you could win this thing. What's that, huh? Don't. Oh, well, it looks as though we got the numbers back for the audience and, uh, here it is on your screen. What the hell? The audience is coming up with 2014? Are they fucking stupid? I'll tell you what, Regis. What a waste of lifeline. What a waste of lifeline. But I'm just going to say the hell with it and go with 1919. Always trust your first... Your first instinct, Greg, just I've been in business a long time. I've been a businessman a long time. A successful businessman at that. 1919. Is that your final answer? <laughs> Prescott? Who the hell's Prescott? Oh, sorry, Regis. I had someone yell my earpiece Prescott for some reason. But I, I don't know. But yeah. 1919, that's my final answer. 1919 is your final answer, and yes, you would be correct for $50,000. How you like that, huh? <laughs> Even though your lifeline failed you, you actually got the 50000 Well, poor mean ice cream cone. I got one right. You know, Regis, the life wines are all a bunch of dummies anyway. Nobody knows anything but me, of course. Of course. Ah, I could sit back and relax, undo my slacks, and have myself some snacks, Regis. But uh, while we had this moment of positation, I'd like to give a shout out to Comedy Thanks, Jeff Zanzibar, and Hebrew. Wow, Donald, you sure are into yourself. Ah, oh, look at there. Wait a minute. What are you doing? What? What? Why is this man taking his suit off? That's weird. Play what music? What are you talking about? That's right, maestro. Play that music. Play that funky music, white boy. Play that big, that funky music now. And watch me as I rip my shoes black. Yeah. Oh. All right, Regis, I'm ready for the next question, brother. All right, here's your next question. The RMS sunk in what year? 1919? B, 1920? C, 1908. D, 1912. What year did the Titanic sink in? You know, I was going to say 1919, but that's not one of the options. Oh, wait, it is one of the options. No, I was going to say 1912. 
1912, and that's not one of the options. What else did you say, 1908? Yeah, you said 1908. Well, I'm stuck between 1908 and 1912. I'll tell you what, Regis, let's do one final lifeline. Take away one to you. All right, here we go. This is your final lifeline. Put two answers up there on the board. Oh, gosh damn it, I'm stuck between 1908 and 1912 again. Look at that. The two answers I was thinking of. I guess you guys did that on Poipus. Oh, for fuck's sake. 1912 sounds right, but 1908 sounds better. Shit. I'm gonna go with 1908. Why the hell not? I see. Would you like to make that your final answer? I'm gonna uh, stuck between 1908. So, you know what? I'm gonna go with 1908. I've had that gut instinct this whole time, this whole time. So, uh, I'm gonna go with 19. Oh, wait. Final answer. Final answer, Regis. You know, you got that 50,000. That's a guarantee. You've had a good run here on the show today. Um, but unfortunately, that's the wrong answer. That's the wrong answer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was 1912. 1912, the Titanic was sunk. I mean, it sunk. Do you feel good about your winnings here on today's game, Donald? Yeah, you know what? I have played a well uh, fought game. I got past Creepy Joe, that's for sure. Um, I had fun today. I'm going to go home with this 50,000. Actually, the 50,000 is going to uh, my own personal favorite charity, <laughs> my election. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. It's it's to be named later, Regis. But uh, seriously, though, I did have a good time, though, and um, hopefully we'll do good some better. Well, it certainly was fun being up here on stage with you, Mr. President, let me tell you. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that ends. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> we'll see you next time, everybody. Walking away with $50,000. Boy, how you like that? Oh, man. Hey, call my agent and tell him that I'm not doing this with former presidents anymore. Yeah, that would be great. Oh, are we still live? Oh, shit. Hey, yeah, we're still live, Regis, but you're not. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for being here. Uh, if you like what you see, you want to see more, please don't forget to subscribe to the Hebrew AI Voice Parody channel. God bless America. And good night, everyone. Oh, and one more thing. Do, 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 do. That <laughs> I'm going on Will Fortune next week, baby. Joe. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Joe Rogan here from the Rogan Experience. I just wanted everybody to know that I will have a show uh, tomorrow. It won't be up until about Saturday, thinking. Yeah. Anyway, stay tuned for the Joe Rogan Experience, where this week I will have uh, Mike Tyson on the show. You're going to have Mike Tyson on the show, huh? I'll tell you what, man. That's one guy I wouldn't want to step in the ring with. And I've stepped in the ring with a lot of tough opponents. But that dude is crazy. He'll do anything to win. Psych you out, bite your ear off, you name it. I know that there's this big old fight with him and Jake Paul coming up. Well, Jake Paul better watch his shit. Is he about to get knocked up? Yes, that's right. I'm going to have Mike Tyson on this show. Boy, there sure is a lot of sirens going off. Anyway, hey, wait a minute. Andrew, maybe you'd like to come on the show as well. Kind of like a moderator. 
Well, I don't know about going on as a monitor, but I'm definitely there, dog. I'm feeling the vibe. I smell what the rock is cooking. And who knows? I may even challenge Iron Mike to a fight of my own. Yeah. We'll see you there, dog. Hey, what is that on the floor? Is that my old cigar? Well, I'm picking that baby up right now. Hey, where did that cigar go? Oh, well, time to go to McDonald's. <laughs> That's all, folks. Chocolate, chocolate chip. Hey, oh, Jill, I think I had an accident.